Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at how you can create water slide decals. I love working with water slide, it's fantastic. It means you can put it on a vast amount of materials. You can either get it in clear or white so it can go on glass and it can also go on to other materials as well. Put it on wood, ceramics, it's fantastic. But it does take a little bit of work. So I'm just going to get some images from Design Space. I absolutely love this cow. He is gorgeous. And this is in the Cuddly Animals image set. And this is the image set Adorable Giraffes. And again, these are just super cute. So once I've chosen my images, I can insert them to my canvas. So if we look at this one, it's currently set to a cut. And we can see it's already got a base layer, a solid base layer. So all I need to do is actually flatten this. And because it's got that base layer, it will only cut out that outline. Now I could, if I wanted to, add an offset to that, but that outline is pretty good, so I don't feel I need to. This one's already set to a print and cut, as is this one. And again, if we look at this one, it's set to cut, but it has got a background and it's a solid background. So again, I can just flatten that one. And the same with this one. So they're all set to print and cut. And of course I can size them and get them to the size I want them to be. I can then go to continue. And I'm going to center my printer. And I've got two decal papers that I've decided are really good to work with. So I have actually tested out a multitude of decal papers and these two I've found are the easiest to work with and you do get the best results. One is a very, very good print quality. The other is a slightly less print quality, but it's still really good. So I'm gonna send to printer. Because I've flattened, I won't have a bleed anyway, so I'm gonna switch it off. And I am going to choose my system dialog because this will allow me to change my printer settings. Some printers are not keen on water decal paper. They, they don't like the consistency of it. So you may find that you need to play around with your settings. So always have your system dialog selected. Also make sure that you read your decal instructions so you know which side needs to be printed on so that you can put it in your printer correctly. We're then going to select print. I can choose the correct printer and I'm going to select preferences. I'm gonna change my media type to photo paper glossy two because I find that works really well. And I'm also gonna change my print quality to high. I can then select okay and I can then send this to my printer. Once it's printed, we can then choose our cut setting and we want to cut all the way through. So I just use the medium cardstock setting. We then want to leave this to dry for about five minutes because it's inkjet and you can get decal paper for lasers, but this is inkjet and it will smear and smudge. So let it dry for sort of five minutes. So I've got two inkjet papers which I find work really well. There's this one which is the Sunny Scoper one and I do find that the print quality on this is slightly better. However, it is more rigid than the other one so the transference process can sometimes be a little bit tricky. The print quality on this one is very good but as I say, I do feel this one has a slight edge. However, this one is a little bit easier to transfer. Once I've let this dry, I'm going to place it on my mat in the direction that it is on my screen. So if it's going this way on my screen, I'm gonna place it this way. And if it's going this way, then that's how I'm gonna put it on my mat. I'm then going to use my Cricut Brea to secure that to my mat. Because this is a print and cut, it's going to scan for the registration marks first, and then it will go in and cut my pieces. 
And I do find it's better to cut these now than once you've added the sealant. I find it's a lot better to cut it now. So we now need to seal these. If we don't seal these, that ink is just going to run. I've tried two sealants. The first is my go-to, which is the Rosoleum Crystal Clear, and I use this in a lot of projects. And I also tried the Plasticoat Super Clear as well. Not a massive fan of this for the decals. I found I needed to use a lot more coats to stop the ink from running. So for water decals, this is my go-to. And I find four coats works really well. You definitely want to do four coats of it on this decal paper. Some will only take three, but I found with both of these, you really want four. Now, I will say that this stuff stinks, or it stinks to me. And those of you that have known me for a long time know that I am very sensitive to smell. You definitely want to do this in a well-ventilated area, preferably outside. And the smell does linger as well. So even if you do this outside and then bring these in, that smell will still come in. So you want to, if possible, leave them outside for a few minutes just for that smell to disperse. You want to give your can a good shake. We're then gonna come in from a height and you do wanna do this from a height. You want a nice coating, but you don't want it absolutely soaking. And we're just going to give that a nice even spray. And then depending on your surroundings, you're going to leave it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Now, to know that it's dry, you will, when if you touch it, it will be sticky, but it won't leave a residue. It will always be sticky. You'll always have a sticky coating. But if it's wet, you'll obviously get a residue on your fingers and you'll leave a mark on your image. If it's dry, it will just be sticky, it won't be wet. But a good 30 to 40 minutes, and then we're going to come in with four coats, so we want to do four coats in total. And that last coat, I find leaving it for about an hour works really well. So just to show you the print quality, and I don't know if it's gonna translate very well, but you might be able to see in the colour of the black spots. Here they are blacker, they're more purple on this one. So this one with the sort of grey black spots are is the Sunny Scoper one and this is the other one. So there is a difference in that print quality but as I say they're both very very good. I just think the colour is better on the Sunny Scoper one and I printed them in exactly the same way under the same conditions. But I do find that this one, although the colour print is not as good as the Sunny Scoper one, I do find that the transference is slightly easier. So there is a bit of a juggling act going on. We've then got some water. Now I've done lots and lots of tests on this. And you really want your water to be between sort of 36 and 38, 39 degrees Celsius. So very much at body temperature. So we're going to do the Sunny Scoper one first and we're just going to put that into the water. And you'll see that straight away it sort of starts to curl a little bit. And we're going to wait for it to start uncurling. And that will be about after a minute. So we can see that the body has just about evened out. So has the head. So I'm going to get my candle ready. And I've got some kitchen towel too. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water onto that surface. Just to make the whole process a bit easier. So if I just lift my decal, I should be able to gently move it, which I can. So I'm going to bring it over to my candle. I'm going to place it where I want it to go. And you can see 
it's already moving slightly so I'm just going to very gently start removing that backing and I'm pressing down as I'm pulling the backing away I'm just going to very gently use my fingers just to get that in the position where I want it. And I can move it around slightly, but you do have to be careful because you don't want to obviously get this all squished up. When I've got the placement how I want, I'm going to get a piece of kitchen towel. And I'm actually going to get it just a little bit wet. And I'm then going to push down on my decal and I find having it just a little bit wet helps a lot. I find if it's dry, it tries to pull the decal up, but also use your fingers to keep that in place. And I'm just going to keep patting it. And what I'm doing is not only am I patting it down, I'm also removing any wrinkles and air bubbles as well. I can then wipe away any of the wet around it and again I'm just going to pat that make sure that I've got no wrinkles or air bubbles in there and then I can come in with a dry piece and again just gently start patting that and there we go there is our first decal I'll then leave that to dry. So now I've got the other one and I'm going to place that in the water and again you'll see that one start to curl up a little bit and again we're going to leave that for about a minute until it sort of flattens out. Sometimes they do curl right up, sometimes you only get a little bit of a curl but you want to wait for it to kind of flatten and as I say that's about a minute to a minute and a half. If you look, I don't know how well the camera is going to pick up on it, but you can actually see it is starting to lift off the backing. So again, I'm just going to get a little bit of water onto my surface, up my decal, and just gently start pushing that down. I'm just going to press down with my fingers and I'm also removing again any air bubbles while I'm doing this again I can manoeuvre that a little bit to where I want it to go I can get a little bit of wet tissue towel I'm just going to gently press that and remove any wrinkles and air bubbles but I'm also going to make sure that I hold down with my hands as well. I do love working with water decal, they can take some practice, it's always worth doing a practice sheet of just some little um, images so that you can get used to working with it. It's not the easiest but once you get your technique down it does become easier. The main things are making sure that you've sealed it correctly. So four lots of sealant works really well. You need to make sure that they are dry in between each layer. And then the temperature of your water is really important. So as I say, anywhere between sort of 36 and 38 degrees Celsius is about right. And it should only take about a minute to a minute and a half for your decal to be ready. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give the video a like. If you've got any questions, leave them below. Make sure you hit that notification bell and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.